The big question is, are we alone in the universe? And so that's a question of, is there life elsewhere? But in our solar system, there could be life in the clouds of Venus or under the surface of Mars today, or, or fossil life, you know, where we might find some evidence on Mars. But in the early solar system, we were exchanging material through impacts and meteoritic transport. So life could have started on Earth and been transported to Mars or Venus, or Mars could, life could have started on Mars and been transported to Earth, in which case we're all Martians. But when you get out to the outer solar system, that kind of transport is very unlikely. And so the question of are we alone in the universe really is, can life get started somewhere else in a very different way? And if we find life on Europa or Enceladus or even Titan, it probably means that life is throughout the universe. When I was a kid growing up, I used to lie in the grass in summer and look up at the stars and wonder, you know, are there other solar systems out there? And, and is anybody else out there? I mean, that's been something that's driven me my whole life. When I finally got to space, orbiting the Earth, and looked down at the Earth, uh, I realized that life is really easy to find looking down at the Earth. You know, we have changed the Earth significantly. We've changed the surface of the Earth, and we've changed the Earth's atmosphere. And now, as, as a planetary scientist, as an astrophysicist, I know that we have the technology to look at exoplanets or to look at Europa or Enceladus in a way that would make life obvious if, we, if it's there. And I think that's the most exciting thing, is that for the first time in human history, we can build telescopes, we can build instruments that will answer that question, are we alone in the universe?